What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. While getting ready for Dragonflight launch, I figured I'd whip up some short videos over the things that I figure might be good to know and to keep an eye out for. Things that you might not hear about directly since they're either really niche or kinda out of the ordinary. This episode, we'll be talking about an item that will allow any class in the game to use a battle resurrection effect. Best of all, you don't even have to be an engineer to do it either, though you'll need to know one or have the money to buy what you're looking for. With the new profession revamps, a major feature of Dragonflight, there is a massive amount of depth and choice to be made with your professions, as you earn crafting knowledge via creating new items and leveling your profession and some other means here and there. For the engineering profession, there is a new pair of bracers that are usable by anyone regardless of the profession type. These special bracers are also equipped with a unique new type of socket called a Tinker Slot. In the Tinker Slot, you can use any of the new Tinker modules coming with Dragonflight, most are gimmicky or overly niche things, like a flamethrower or being able to magnetize enemy players so that they are either pulled to you or pushed away. The best one, arguably, is the Arclight Vital Corrector, which is Dragonflight's combat resurrection item. This allows a player in mid-combat to zap the life back into an ally, reviving them with 60% of their total health and 20% of their total mana. Though the item does have a chance to fail, supposedly. I've yet to have this happen, but I figured I'd bring it up. However, the pattern for these bracers is locked behind a specific engineering crafting specialization. Without making this video become a crafting guide or anything super overly complicated, here's the shortest version possible that I can give you while explaining how everything works, hopefully. I'll just be using the word you instead of they because technically you can do this yourself or you can find another engineer who can do it, but to make this less complicated, I'm just going to say you. You'll need to be an engineer and reach 25 Dragonflight engineering skill. When you reach 25 skill, you can pick your first specialization path. You'll pick Function Over Form. You'll then need to put 5 points of Dragon Isle's engineering knowledge into the Function Over Form node, because at level 5 of this node, you'll be able to pick your first sub-specialization. From here, you'll pick the leftmost option, called Gear. By picking this sub-specialization, you will now have a chance whenever you craft combat equipment, such as the weapons like the guns you can usually craft or engineering goggles, you'll potentially learn the schematic for one of the four bracers. There is one of each armor type, so that means there's one for plate, mail, leather, and cloth. These bracers all require some pricey reagents, but are the only way for non-engineer players to have access to a tinker slot, and this will be quite valuable. Even for engineers, these bracers are very useful, since the only other armor slot that can have a tinker slot is your engineering goggles. This directly competes with one of only five tier set armor slots. The chance of discovering the bracer schematic appears, admittedly, kinda a little low, from my testing at least, so this has to be considered a little bit of a gamble. However, armor sales are realm specific still, despite the merging of auction houses for things like reagents and consumables, so if you can corner the market on these bracers early, it could be exceptionally profitable. To actually use the engineering battle res though, you'll need that tinker module that I mentioned earlier, the Arclight Vital Correctors. This is a schematic you're guaranteed to unlock, but you will need to take the specialization Mechanical Mind. You'd then need to invest 10 knowledge points into Mechanical Mind to pick the sub-specialization Inventions, and then 20 points invested in Inventions to learn the Arclight Vital Correctors schematic. As you can probably tell, even me trying to give you the short, short, short version of how these new professions work is gonna take some first-hand experience before it starts to really click and make sense. Though I've been looking at these professions for months on beta and it's still a little overwhelming at times, so your mileage may vary. However, if you aren't an engineer and still want these bracers or the tinker module to socket into your bracers, you'll have to use the new crafting work order system also added in Dragonflight. This is a way to put out a request for certain Dragonflight crafted items, such as gear, that another player can fulfill. To place a work order, you'll need to find the NPCs which you can place crafting work orders with. The most commonly used ones in the new expansion will be in the new capital city of Valdraken, and they're located overlooking the Artisan's Market. By searching through the new crafting order user interface, you'll be able to see what item work orders can be placed. Once you select the item that you want to place a work order for, you can either place a public work order, which requires you to supply all the materials and offer a commission fee, or a personal order. Personal orders allow you to place orders with guild members, or direct players that you know who can craft what you want. This can be used to send crafting orders to your other characters on the same realm, by the way, 
So if you worked on multiple characters and their professions, then this is a way to get bind on pickup gear to your other characters using your own stuff. I will be doing a video specifically on the whole crafting order system really soon, so I don't want to get sidetracked from our goal of the engineering battle res on any character. Regardless, I hope this bit of insight helps those of you who want as many perks or advantages as you can get in-game. Having the ability to battle res is a massive perk in Mythic Plus, and is one of the many reasons I have held on to this expensive profession for all these years. The fact that technically anyone in the game can use a battle res now, even if you're not an engineer, is even bigger, and gives engineers finally a potential way to make some serious money. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. The new crafting system can be a lot to take in all at once, and is part of why I haven't done any profession-specific guides yet. And if you found the video useful, please consider giving it a like, as these help with the YouTube's algorithms, promotion of the videos, and channels in general to other folks. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, patrons over on Patreon, and Twitch subs. You folks all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so very much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.